Hi, I'm Chidera, and I love asking why about, well, everything. One day, I was playing with my favorite toy, Mr. Fluffles, and I wondered, could I make him float using balloons? Fly, Mr. Fluffles, fly. Um, I knew I needed help with this big question, so I asked my dad because he knows lots of cool stuff. Dad was excited to help. He loves teaching us new things. That's an interesting question, Chidera. Let's talk about buoyancy and mass. Buoyancy? Mass? Those were big words I didn't know yet. Buoyancy is what makes things float, like in water or air. And mass is how much stuff something is made of. See, if something has more mass, it needs more buoyancy to float. It's like a balance. Oh, I get it. So Mr. Fluffles needs enough buoyancy to lift his mass. Yeah, bouncy mass, so... I started with two balloons, but nothing happened. Woohoo! More balloons, more balloons! My little brother Chinedu was right. I needed more balloons. So I kept trying. Three balloons, five, seven. It was hard, and sometimes I wanted to give up. But I remembered what my dad always says about scientists. Hmm. Remember, Chidera, scientists don't give up. They learn from each try. Dad was right. Each time I learned something new. We used a scale to weigh Mr. Fluffles and calculate how many balloons we needed. Math and science working together. How cool is that? We had to consider the weight of Mr. Fluffles the lift of each balloon, and even the weight of the strings. We did it! Mr. Fluffles can fly! Finally, we had the right number of balloons! We went outside and I held my breath. This was the moment of truth. Three, two, one, lift off. It happened, Mr. Fluffles floated. We did it, we really did it. Yay, Mr. Fluffles can fly, he's a flying elephant. Well done, Chidera. You've made a great scientific discovery. You've shown that with enough helium balloons, even Mr. Fluffles can fly. I can't believe it worked! Mr. Fluffles is actually flying! You see, Chidera, this is how hot air balloons work, too. The helium in these balloons is lighter than the air around us, so it rises taking Mr. Fluffles with it. Wow, can we make me fly next, Chidera? No, silly, you're much too heavy. But maybe we can make a paper airplane fly next time. That's a great idea, Chidera. Let's see how we can apply what we learned today to make the perfect paper airplane. Look at it, go, we made another thing fly. You've done a wonderful job today, Chidera. You've shown us that with curiosity, persistence, and a little help, we can make amazing things happen. I learned that with enough lift from the balloons, anything can fly. And I learned something else too. Science is all around us, even in the simplest things. Science is fun, especially when you do it with your family. We've learned so much together. What will you discover today? Remember, keep asking questions and never stop exploring. Write down your ideas just like I do.
This is Chidera signing off to infinity and beyond. And remember, science is for everyone. Uh, great job, Chidera. You're inspiring so many young scientists out there. Look, Dad, can we try this experiment next? Of course, let's plan it for the weekend. Me too, me too. Remember, always be safe when doing experiments. And don't forget to ask an adult for help. Now let's get sciencing. Want a sneak peek of our next experiment? It's going to be explosive! See you next time, junior scientists! <laughs>